What's up YouTube? It's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to the channel. And today's Yu-Gi-Oh! news video... I don't know why the hell we have this, but we have some brand new Gishki support. I don't know what the hell's going on. But... But if you guys have never heard of the Gishki archetype, it's a ritual-based archetype that... Well, basically, basically led to ritual summon and uh, excuse me. Some of the Gishki cards that I'm gonna look up here in a second. Go deck editor. I'll uh, choose this one. This random deck. So obvious. So the Gishkis are rather unique. So they, so they all have. So a a lot of these Gishki cards are just weird. They are like really, really weird. So you you have Gishki monsters like Chain, where it where it lets you, where it lets you just duality. You know. You know a you know a ritual monster or a ritual spell, you know to your hand. You have you have Gishki Natalia, which lets you, um, <clears throat> which lets you um, recycle you know a you know a Gishki monster monster in, in your grave on the you know to the top of the deck. You have you have Noelia that lets you basically look at your you know, look at your, you know, the top five cards of your deck, and just full burial some of, you know, you know, you know, some of them to your graveyard. Just you have so many of them, and then and then and then you got the ritual monsters. You got, you have Zelgig, Zel, Zelgigas, I believe that was pronounced. Um, you got Soul Ogre, Mind Aegis. You've got quite a, there's quite a few of them. There is even also an NXC's monster known as Evagishki Marogeist, which Marogeist is okay. It's okay. Um, but yeah, so I don't know why Gishki's sucked. As far as like the competitive the competitive meta goes, Gishki's sucked, and I don't know why we're getting new support. But here we are. So hopefully you guys are ready for for this video. If you guys are, and you guys want more Yu-Gi-Oh news videos in the future, which get posted on Tuesdays and sometimes on weekends, make sure you guys make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and follow me on on my social media. Links will be in the description below. As will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. Let's kick things off with Grim Gishki, which is a two-star water fish with with, 20, with six with 600 attack and 700 defense. And the second effect is a once per turn. And the first effect reads: You can says if you ritual summon exactly one water ritual. Monster with a card effect that requires use of monsters. This card can be used as the entire requirement. I mean, to be fair, I mean, to be fair, you're not breaking, you're not breaking your your own board. You're mostly, you're main, for for the most part, you're extending your board to where you have have. An infinite amount of negates on board. That's not too bad. With that effect is not too bad. Bad in my opinion. Uh, second effect reads: If this card, if this card is normal or special summon, you can target. You can special summon one Gishki monster from your deck, except this card. You can, card also, you cannot declare attacks for the rest of the turn except with ritual monsters. Okay, so it's sort of, sort of like a Buster Lock, but. Instead of instead of the extra deck, you're locking yourself out of the 
out of the battle phase unless if the battle phase involved your your ritual monster so it's not too bad it's not too bad but still that's actually pretty good I mean being able, being able to just to just use Grim Gishki as like the whole requirement to summon you know any 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 ritual monster at your disposal that's not too bad I gotta admit that's not too bad next up we have we have a if Yeah, I, I apparently I can't speak. Next up we have Ivigishki Naramanas. Naramanas, I believe is how it's pronounced. Um, which is a 10 star water spellcaster ritual with 3000 attack, 1800 defense. And it says you can ritual summon this card with any Gishki ritual spell. And it has three separate effects. The first effect reads if this card is. if this card is ritual summon. You can target a water monster in your grave and special summon it. Second effect reads: cannot be destroyed by battle with with a monster and special summon from the extra deck. Third effect reads: once per turn, when your opponent activates a monster effect as a quick effect, you can return one Gishki ritual monster control to the hand. And if you do, negate the activation. And if you do that, shovel that card into the deck. So, so it's it's a monster reborn. It's a protection and. And it's also, and it's also a um, sort of like a really, like a really weird trap dust shoe. It's like a mix of, um, it's like a mix of, what is it? What is it? Compulse, but instead of compulsing it to the hand, you're you're du you're trap dust shooting it back into into the deck which that's not too bad I have to admit I gotta admit that's actually not too bad next up we have Gishki Ice Mirror which is which is the ritual spell and it says this card can be used to ritual summon any any Gishki ritual monster ritual summon one Gishki ritual monster from your hand by tributing either a face up monster your board controls or a monster from your hand who's from or or a mon or monsters from your hand or field whose total levels exactly equal its level and if you do you lose life points equal to its original attack second effect reads if this card is in your grave you can target a gishki monster in your grave place it on top on top of the deck and place this card on the bottom of the deck that means not too bad i mean i mean you're able to I mean, you're able to ensure that you, that you don't that they don't deck out if you're going up against you know the missing mine burn decks, which is not too bad. Next up, we have Aqua Mirror Fo Focalization, which is a normal spell, and it has two separate effects. And the first one reads: reads add one Gishki monster from your deck to your hand. Rota, it's a Rota, basically a Rota. Not much else, else, else to say about that. And the second effect is a once per turn, which reads: During the end phase, if you control a water ritual monster, you can banish this card from your grave and set one Aqua Mirror spell or trap from your deck or grave, except this card. That's actually not too bad. The only problem, the so, the only problem with the with the Gishki archetype is that a lot of the monsters can oftentimes miss timing. So, so to explain what I mean by that, if, in fact, I think some of them have have when have when effects, if I remember right. Um. Yeah, I thought so, okay. Yeah, I thought so. So, so some of them do have do have a when effect have a one effect. So take Noelia for for example. Noelia's effect reads, when this card is normal summoned, you can excavate the top five cards of your deck, send any excavated ritual spells and Gishki monsters to your grave and put and place the other cards at the bottom of the deck in any order. So the biggest problem is that is that is that ash is that cards cards like Ash Blossom, cards like Ghost Bell can often can can basically can basically chain block can chain block Noelia and Noelia won't be able to trigger its you know her effect. 
Mollusk's effect reads that whenever he's sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can that you can look look at the top three cards of your deck and place and return them. <coughs> excuse me. And return all three cards to to the top or to the bottom of the deck in, in any order. This basically not with this effect not only does it ensure that you're able to they're able to manipulate your next draw or two, but but because because of the one effect, cards like cards like um, cards like call by is going to become a massive factor with with its effect. Marker Marker's effect says that that whenever he's normal summon, you can basically. Target any Gishki ritual monster or spell from from your grave. Add that target to your hand. Ghost spell will become a factor as well. Going, you know, if you were to play Marker, um, Gishki Beast is another one that when he's normal summon, you can target a low for a lower Gishki in in your grave and special summon. So, so again, pre you know, a, a, a lot of these monsters have one effects. Some of them do not. Funny enough, some of them do not. Um, uh, Gishki Abyss is is you know is another one when when effect. Um, when he's when the card is summoned, you can add a Gishki monster with a thousand or less defense from your deck to your hand. So it's sort of like a Stratos for the whole deck, and then. Um, You know, and then, and then of course too. You know, just just like just like Gishki Grim, Gishki Vision has has the same effect where you can you can um, use use v Vision as the whole requirement to summon out you know your ritual monsters. Um, Gishki Reliever is is an, you know has another one one effect which reads that whenever. That when it when it's normal or flip summon, you can target one other monster you control over and bounce it back to to the hand. So it's sort of like a compulse, if you will. So yeah, no, so yeah, the win effects not too great, if you will. But yeah, the Gishkis didn't they didn't as far as what I remember, Gishkis didn't really do well as far as like as far as like the competitive meta goes. But, um, I know that it did get several tops over the years, but that's about it. That's about it. Um, but honestly, I'm kind of torn, torn about, about this one, because Gishkis, I don't think they'll ever be meta. Even with, even with this, with, even with these new cards, they're, they will never be meta. But I do want your guys, your guys' opinion. The question of the day is this. Sh Will Gishkis ever be meta once again? Let me know down in the comments below. And that will do it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys want more Yu-Gi-Oh! news video videos, which get posted every Tuesday and sometimes on weekends, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and follow me on all my social media. Links will be in the description below. As will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash. Signing out.